going through the gaps. We're like Lionel Messi, I'm gonna Messi, I'm gonna Messi, I'm gonna Messi. Everyone, welcome back to the dojo. Today we're playing Asgard's full origins. This is the demo version of the game. Let's see what this game is all about. So we click play, we get this screen, Midgard. These are the different levels that we could get. So going through them, we get Midgard, Nilfheim, Jotunheim, Svartalfheim, Helheim, Vanaheim, Muspelheim, Alfheim, and Asgard. These are only available in the full version of the game. The difficulty spike. Oh, that's cool. It's like it just upgrades as it goes along. So we're going to start off with the easiest difficulty just to see what this game's about. So this is the skill tree, the meta progression in the game. As you can see, I've played this game once and I've actually accumulated some points that we can actually put into the skills. We've got a physical tree. We've got a fire tree, which I guess is for fire damage. Yep, the ice tree, the lightning tree, the defensive tree and the utility tree. So we have a few points to spend from my first one. Let's just go ahead and do that. So we actually improve slightly. Let's get some more attack speed. That's nice. Today we're going to be going with a fire build. So I want to put in some skills into fire tree. We have put one skill point into this rune over here, which gives us more fire damage, more percentage increased fire damage. We have one more point to spend. Let's go with the ignite chance. That's our skill tree set and let's go. So we're looking for fire abilities and anything that's fire to be honest the controls are pretty simple wsd to move dash and auto attacks into wherever your mouse is pointing okay so this is good we start off with a good giant's tooth pierces three random targets with massive spears at the bottom we collect these and this is how many blood points we have in the bottom left corner our hp and difficulty level for this amount of blood points we could re-roll but we're just gonna take the giant's tooth for now okay that skill ain't that bad these golden apples heal so we'll leave that there until we actually need it. And now we level up. We can get to choose our carvings. So cold damage isn't going to do anything for us this turn. So we go with the ignite chance. As you can see, it's going to cost us 30. We could go with physical damage as well. And maybe a dodge percentage as well. Mm. Now nah, we go for these two. Okay, so our ignite chance. We're just working on that fire build. Working on that fire build today. Took damage for no reason. New mob started to spawn. Ooh, Fafnir's breath. I thought that said Skibbity Ice Arrow. I was like, bro, Gen Z, chill. Or is it Gen Alpha that says Skibbity? I don't know. But we're taking the Fafnir's breath. Breathes out fire in a cone shape towards your cursor position. Okay. And here's our next level up. Oh, we got some purples. I think they're epics. We can go with... We have 271 blood points. We're going to go with armor and attack speed. Attack speed is really good. Max health as well, if we can aff afford it. Of course, yes. We're taking everything purple. So far, we're looking good. And now we have wild pigs spawning in as well. There's Skibidi Arrow again. Let's re-roll this time. Oh, we could get a giant's tooth upgrade. Which increases the ability damage modifier by 30%. Yes, please. I know the final... I think the final upgrades uh, morph the ability. So maybe we get like a... We just keep breathing fire all the time. You have a red outline. Critical strike multiply, yes, and more physical damage and more critical strike chance. So these two go hand in hand. The cold damage we don't need. So we've been getting really lucky with our rolls so far. We could do with more abilities, more fire abilities. Yeah, they're starting to swarm up. Okay, what do we get here? Surtur's Inferno summons a fire tornado towards your cursor position. Yes, please. Okay. That was... Oh. That looks pretty dope. Not too bad. Not too shabby, I might say. All right. These red outlined magicians must go. I need to make sure I keep the fire tornado... Like, I need to aim the fire tornado. So as long as I point my cursor towards mobs, we're A-OK. -okay. Ooh. Okay, we've got a purple ignite chance. We don't want this. We want fire damage to increase and more dodge chance. So as we can see, the stats are on the left. 
Our dodge chance right now is 0%. We're going to get 2% on that. And movement speed is at 5% with 7% armor. So the ignite chance and the fire damage is actually going to buff us a lot. And right now we are looking Gucci. So we've almost passed the five minute threshold. The apple's still there. Our fire damage is looking insane. Okay, do we get any fire? Nope, let's reroll. Fire Nova. Cast a fire Nova around you, igniting enemies. Let's take that, yes. Okay, we have become Liu Kang, the fire god. Ah, crap, I got hit. I might need to take that apple soon. Ouch. All right, let's see what we get. We got a legendary physical damage increase, which is always great. We have 1,062 blood points that we could spend. So let's take more dodge chance, increased experience gain, critical strike chance. Let's take them all. Let's go, baby. And I actually want to start moving towards that apple for some health regen. There we go, 308. An apple a day keeps the imps away. I don't know. I just got a steam achievement for eating apples. I don't know why I ate that one. It looked yummy. Little Granny Smith apples, eh? All right. There it is. Starting to get a bit overwhelming. We still have an apple there. Do we have anything? We still have one more slot for an ability. So let's reroll. Hope for some fire damage. We get an upgrade on Giant's Tooth. Decrease the ability cooldown by 10%. We will take that so we start firing them more often. We are taking a lot of damage. However, we'll just use the apples to fix up. I think my basic attack also needs to speed up because it is kind of slow at the moment. And I do need my abilities to actually speed up as well. So what do we get? Increase fire damage. We have 1000 blood points. Bleed chance. Yes, please. And dodge chance as well. Our dodge chance is at 6%. That's going to be 9% by the end. And collecting radius. I think we can spend those blood points. Yes. So we don't have to risk it as much. Okay, we've hit the five minute mark now. We should be getting a boss coming out real soon. Hopefully we're strong enough to take it on. Oh, it's an elite wave. Okay, does it have a boss? So it's just going to be with those um, health points at the top. What do we get? Decrease ability cooldown. Yes. I don't mind any ability cooldowns as long as I'm attacking faster. I could do with one more ability. One more fire ability maybe. I don't need apples at the moment. My fire damage is good. My burning damage is good. We could also get iframes by dashing. Armor right now sounds perfect. And some movement speed as well, please. Yes. I don't think... Can we... Or do we go increase... Let's go increase experience gain so we could actually level up more when we need to. A golden apple sounds good right now. All these elite mobs still trying to catch us. But with more movement speed, we are on a roll. Oh, shit. Ah! What do we get? We got the skibbity ice arrow. The skibbity ice arrow keeps coming up. Let's re-roll. And upgrade giant's tooth. How many upgrades do they have? Oh, at the bottom. Okay. So it's going to be four out of six. Cool, cool, cool. And a few more dashes. Oh, mushroom enemies. I also want a few more dashes at my disposal, if possible, please. Oh, that's a lot of blood points. Give me all them blood. Maybe I'm the antagonist of this okay how many blood points do we have 972 attack speed is a must dash amount plus two is a must as well and i could get max health as well yep we don't need cold damage at all oh that movement speed and the attack speed is looking good right now good upgrades good upgrades that hit me i don't know why i actually how many dashes do i have is that a wave number at the bottom yeah, I think I'm on wave 9. And the bar slowly fills. Okay. No, oh, I have two spare apples here. So I could take one. Angry hippo. 
Let's just dash through this. Alright, at the 10 minute mark, I think we're going to get like a mini boss. Get them all, get them all. Burn them, Ember Axe. There we go, finally our final fire ability. And what does it do? It explodes. Nice. I mean, it's kind of exploding in wrong places. But we take those. Oh, 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 oh. Can't overwhelm me, son. I got dashes for days. I got hit, didn't I? All right, I need to chill, 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 chill. The air grows heavy, pressure mounting around you. Oh. Oh, uh, yikes. We're getting closer to the 10 minute mark, aren't we? Indeed, we are. We need more damage output, unfortunately. And I think that's only going to be able to be done after we improve our runes in the meta progression. But right now, we're doing quite well. We're doing quite well. If we improve our runes a bit more. So how many blood points do we have? We have 1,500. Critical strike multiplier. What's our critical strike chance? We have a critical strike chance of 8%. The multiplier is already at 142. Um, I think we can reroll. Fire damage, yes. And physical damage. We could also not take the other two because they're cold damage. I guess after like upgrading the fire tree, our fire damage would increase by a lot and probably get some cooldowns as well. But as for now, it seems pretty good. Let's see how far we can get in this run. An ancient power begins to awaken from its slumber. Okay, we're getting the boss coming at almost 45 seconds. Until then, we got to... Yes, upgrade as much as we can. Um, if I click any of the other abilities, it's going to ask me to replace one of the abilities I have. And we don't want to do that. We want to become the Fire God, Liu Kang. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for builds and you have played this game, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to try it out. Alright, I can see some crits popping off. Okay, five seconds until the boss. Three, two. Ooh. Ooh, this, I think this might have been clutch. We got a 12 fire damage, a purple one, and more dashes to our name with some attack speed and bleed chance. Can we take them all? Yes, we can. All right, that was the upgrade we needed just before the boss. Let's see what's going to happen. Who's the boss? Okay, it's this Tiki Taka motherfucker. Let's see how much damage are we doing. Oh. Oh, his hands are... He's like... He's like, these hands are rated E for everyone. Literally throwing hands. All right, we're doing good damage. We're doing good damage. Just have to be careful. He has a... One hand, he follows around and tries to hit me. I'm glad that the... Uh, I'm gonna have to dodge this way. Yep, there we go. I'm glad that the swarm stopped. And that's the boss done with. Uh, like the swarm decreased, not stopped. I actually need to take that chest, chest and I have no idea how to. Oh, there we go. We just walk into it. Increased ability damage modifier by 30%. This is our Fire Nova. This will be our second upgrade. I think it becomes the garlic effect from Vampire Survivors once you fully upgrade it. So I really want to try that as well if I can without dying. Hopefully. Oh, we still have a golden apple over there. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh my god, these mushrooms! Mushroom, mushroom. Badger, 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 badger. Alright, what do we get? Critical chance. Strike chance, yes. And health regen. Health regen will be cool. Let's get some health regen. Yep. It'll be nice to be able to regenerate health over time so we don't have to keep eating those apples. I would like to get more health regens though. That would be pretty dope. How 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 often do we health regen though? Because I'm not seeing 
Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. But if you do take damage, it's like two per second or per tick. But if you do take damage, it's literally not worth it. So let's take this apple. Oh my god, they just spawned in. Alright, we've got seven, eight minutes of the run left. Our flamethrowers doing well. Our explosives are doing well. Uh, okay, which one? Giant's Tooth is at four out of six. So we'll upgrade this. And see if we can get to level six with that, and see what, it, and see what it becomes. Oh god! More upgrades, more spawns. Okay, not we're not doing we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. We're surviving. Oh my god! Oh my good god! Good thing we got all those dashes and movement speed, because these guys move fast. All right, what can we get? We have 2,000 blood points. Let's get some max health. Armor is good. In fact, if we can get all of them, no, we can't. I do want the collecting radius because I know that they're just going to start increasing like this. They're going to start swarming. And we're going to need the collecting radius, the radius... All right, let's go. Ah, oh, the Inferno. Can we re-roll, do you think? To get Giant's Tooth, or do we just... I think we just... Go with whatever we can at the moment. Oh, we didn't need that apple. Oh, here they come. Burn them all! Light the mushrooms up. Oh, now we have shield boys. Oh god, this is going to get tough now. They've actually sent in the troops. Let's get physical damage, attack speed, fire damage, experience gain. Oh, I do want the experience gain, but 3%. I don't think it matters too much. I mean, even though it accumulates when I gather a lot. But we just have to get through. I don't know what happens at minute 5 because I've never been this far in the game before. We're about to find out together. Okay, Ember's Axe, Fire Nova. Which one do we want? Uh, Ember's Axe is at two, Fire Nova's at two as well. I think increase the ability spawn count by one. Yeah, let's go with a Fire Nova. I feel like, I like a constant area of effect attack that goes around me. Look at all this fire. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. we got five minutes left. We have to make sure we don't die. Oh, my God. They sent in the army. We're going to dash away from them. Use our explosives. Throw the grenades. Fire the flamethrowers. Burn them all. Okay, they're really trying to swarm me right now. Come on. I think we're going to get an elite mob as well in 15 seconds. This is about to get hectic. Uh, max health and attack speed sounds good to me. Health regen would be great, but we can't. And now we're going to pray and hope for the best in 10 seconds. And maybe our fire actually goes through. We're doing crits at 370, 260s. I'm seeing the dashes are coming in clutch. And an elite wave is incoming. Now we pray and hope we don't <laughs> die. <laughs> All these gold health bars, they're not taking any damage. Alright, um, I feel like you could give me something better, man. Reroll. That's Fire Nova. I think we could take Fire Nova. I was doing it way more often, which is good. We took the apple for no reason. Let's dash out of there. Alright, we just have to survive. Four more minutes, Kai. Four more minutes. We got this. We're taking on the Elite Wave. The Elite Wave's got nothing on us. Keep dashing, keep dashing. How many dashes do we have left? That's the blue bar. But I don't see an exact number. So we just have to make sure our, not, our, not, uh, our bar isn't depleted. There we go. A level up right now. Physical damage 19. Yes, but I think that's the only thing we can get. Are we only allowed... Oh, we can get lightning. Why would we want lightning damage? Physical damage. 
That's what we're going to go for. Physically, I think we're doing around 112. Okay, we started taking damage. Give me an apple, please. I need this fire. I need a nuke. I don't need explosives. I need a nuke. Oh, my God. I kind of trapped myself in the corner. We've got three more minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. All right, we want that apple there because we're at full health right now. We want to keep the apple going through the gaps. We're like, Leno Messi, I'm gonna Messi, I'm gonna Messi, I'm gonna Messi. Surtas Inferno, which one's that? This one summons the final to increases the ability spawn. So, why do I start throwing two tornadoes now? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, that's actually that's actually really good for me right now. Oh, wait, we're taking damage. Where was the apple? Where was the apple? Yo, they're spawning right next to me if I go to the edge of the screen. I right, last three minutes and it's getting a bit too overwhelming. Oh, we're out of dashes. We have to be careful. Keep our mouse trained on them. Where's the apples? Why, why are we not getting any more apples right now? We need all the apples. All right, we have 102 health. We need to be careful. We only have three minutes left. Um, I think we could go with attack speed and experience gain. I think they're going to be clutch for us. There's an apple right there and there. All right, so there's two apples. We don't want to get the other one right now. I'm scared of my own tornadoes. Oh, that looks amazing when I hit them all. All right, I would appreciate another upgrade real soon. Trying to stay away from the apple because I'm going to need it. The last two minutes, come on. All right, another upgrade. Uh, let's re-roll this because Fanfrey's breath. This is actually really good. I should actually start upgrading this as well. Like, that's the flamethrower that comes out of our mouths. Oh, shield dude's holding me up. Yo, I need the apple without dying. Oh, there we go. There's another apple here. We could take this. Okay, we reset. All we have to do is survive 2 minutes and 30 seconds. That's all we have to do. I don't know if there's a final boss, but I guess we'll find out soon. Sometimes I lose my mouse cursor in this. There's another apple there if we need it. Okay, this game's gotten hectic in the last two minutes. All right, what are we doing? Ignite chance, yes. Uh, movement speed, yes, we definitely need it. And attack speed, I think these two are more important right now. There's another apple there. That's good, that's good. We have two apples that we could work around. All right, last two minutes. I'm sure it's going to get more difficult closer to the end. We're actually clutching this without too many meta progressions. Oh, my God. Damn, we got hit. I want that apple right now. Yep. Okay, we're back to full. Almost. Ember Axe, can you give me, like, the last bit of this, please? Like, that would be much appreciated. That's Fafnir's breath as well. But you know what? Let's take that. Because I think the flamethrower ability is really good as well. We didn't want to take that apple, but we had to. All right. Last minute. And I can't even see my character anymore. The only thing I'm tracking is the blue little circle. Don't take the apple. Don't take the apple. We work around it. We're doing well. We're doing well. Last minute. Last minute. Just going to keep going around. Keep gathering the XP. Not taking the apples. I mean, we might want to take one of the apples real soon. Because it's getting out of hand now. All right. Fire damage increase. Let's get a critical strike chance. I would like to confirm one more apple breath. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I, I still have dashes. I still have dashes. The dashes actually saved me, if anything. Um, let's go more towards the middle. I'm gonna mess you out of there. No shield bash for you, my guy. I can see us hitting four two sevens. Last 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, we got the last upgrade of Giant's ability. And there's a purple chest now. I have no idea what it does, but I want to go see it. But it's at the very edge of the screen. What does it give? Evolution. Oh, we could evolve. Okay, let's evolve the giant's tooth. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that's dope. So at max evolution, uh, so at max level, you could evolve your weapons. Last five seconds. Let's see what happens after the timer ends. And... Oh, no. Is that... Who the fuck is that? Ignite chance increase max health. Give me everything. What the fuck's going on? Do I have to fight him? Oh, I got smited. Odin came and smited me. <laughs> he was like, nope, you've done too much. All right, game over. So let's look at the damage done. We got... What's our most? Fafnir's Breath. No, Fire Nova. Damn, even though we upgraded Giant's Tooth, it didn't even do as much as Fafnir's Breath and Fire Nova. Okay. Let's see how much... We leveled up. I don't know what these levels actually mean. I think they're skill points. They give us skill points. All right, let's continue. Thank you for playing Asgard's Fall. If you're Andrew, let's go to main menu. Let's check our skill points real quick. We have six more uh, skill points to put in. So if we check on the physical tree, next one, we'll do a cold build. We'll upgrade the ice tree. We got the five plus cold damage, the main rune. Let's get more armor, cold damage. Yes, creates a cold aura around you, slowing them enemies. We could get one of these two. Oh, we could get an execute Frostbane's finisher. Shatter frozen enemies below 40% health. 40% is a lot. I will take that. And we could create a cold aura around us when we go next time. So we'll be going back into Midgard. We'll go back into Midgard. We'll do a build for each of the element types. And then we'll increase the difficulty and go in again and increase the difficulty. Try to mix and match the abilities and then see what we get. All right. Well, thank you for watching. This was Asgard's Full Origins. And take care. Peace out. Kai logging off.